Hello there, this is Neha from Ascent ERP. I'm here to show you how Ascent ERP can help your garment business. Since Ascent ERP is 100% native to the Salesforce platform, all of our fields are reportable against. So what I have done here is assembled in a clothing dashboard. I've chosen these, these reports because they are important to me, such as what are my sales and purchase orders by status, what are my most profitable items, what are my sales for the next upcoming quarter, and also, what are my most popular items in the past 90 days? All very important pieces of information. But let's jump into the core of a CentRP, which is called the Item Master. So in the Item Master, I'm able to build and shape my items to enhance my order management. So let's jump into this one right here. So in this item, I have a lot of different attributes I'm actually tracking against, such as they're a pair of jeans, but they're also an acid wash in color. They're a boot cut style, and they're in the 2015 style year. So a lot of information, but I actually don't have any sizes here. Now, we understand that garment companies, they tend to have this one item, this boot cut acid wash jean, but they have six or seven different sizes that they're also tracking against. So what Ascent has done is create a parent-child relationship between them. So all the child items actually have the sizes. Now this, what this allows you to do is have much clearer understanding of what is your traceability and what are your most popular sizes and items. So that's what this allows us to do. So we can actually see this in action. Let's say the retail, the retail store is calling your sales rep, right? They're going to create the sales order out of a Salesforce account object and also because you guys have so many items, let's choose the filter item selection. The retail store says, yeah, I want the boot cut leg style and I only want the acid wash jeans. So, okay, that's fine. I'm going to buy and purchase the 32 by 32, the 100, the 30 by 30, and also my 30 by 32. Those are the three selections they want, right? So they want 11, they want 10 of each item, all right? So, they want 10, 10. So I've added these line items pretty easily. Okay, I also know what I have and what's the unit price. So when I refresh the page, it's also going to tell me I have 30 that I can ship, what is my subtotals, and where am I going to be sending it out of. All right, where am I sending it out to? Now, I need to go create a picking list for my, pick it, for my warehouse team. This is where I need to pick it out of and what is the quantity. I can print this out, of course. Now, because I know I have all the items, I can actually auto-pack this out very easily. Now, you can pack it out one by one, or you can pack it out using this auto-pack tool. So now it's going to tell me, yep, this is a closed and packed order, and a movement journal is created. Every time an order is done or anything happens to any of your items, a movement journal is created. So now that I've depleted some of my items in the acid watch specifically, I'm going to go create a purchase order. So I'm going to choose my vendor and save this out. This is going to tell me who's my vendor, where is it getting sent to, and also if I have anything there. Okay. So let's use a new tool called the Order Entry Grid. Let's just take that out because I want to focus on the boot cut lights. All right. So if I actually go line by line or by item by item, I can see what are my most proper, uh, popular items. It doesn't look like the 30 by 30 is very popular at all. I only have five of the 32 by 30. So what I'm going to do is actually buy 15 of every item that's a little low right here. Okay. So pretty simply, I've added about five line items here. So when I save this out, what this is going to do is add those five line items very simply down here. And I can do this with multiple item groups and multiple items very easily. So when I refresh the page, also my order subtotal was created, I have all my line items, and I can receive this in. So I've received all my orders. I know where it's coming, how much I want of each, and then I can save this out. Alright, everything was saved in. 
great. The order was completed, and then I have my movement journal was also created. So this is just a taste of how a sense of your feet can help you. You can put those filter item selection and the order entry grid on any object of a sense, such as the opportunities, quotes, purchase orders, and sales orders. So thank you for taking the time with me today. Take care.